some more Danganronpa, you ask? Why not? Ah, uh, again? Yes, again. We have to solve this mystery. Rentaro. Remember this, guys. Rentaro, ultimate survivor. But if we want to survive, we have to remember everything we've forgotten up to this point. It all has to come together like a puzzle. It it's happening! F flashback! And then you see uh, Kimiko. Suichi, are you okay? Wait a minute. I'm remembering your flashback. Why is this happening? Get out of my head! Who are you guys? None of you guys are really my classmates. This is like the Truman Show, isn't it? Alright, I can guess your ultimate talent. You're the ultimate sick guy. Yeah. Oh man. Don't tell me you're gonna die, I just met you. Okay, okay. おい、そんなくらい顔すんなよ。これから大冒険に出るんだろ。つうか。ちょっと気になったんだけど。男女16人で宇宙に旅立つ。やっぱ。やるのか。何言ってるんだよ。Leave me alone. It is kind of unfair for Suichi, right? Cause like everyone else who's sick can't go, so he has to kind of like be like, "Oh yeah, guys, I'm the lucky one." I'm surprised these three ain't more mad at him. They're more uplifting. They're more like, "Yo, you can do it, bro, man. You about to get some uh, some pull right now, cause you're in space, and you know some girls, the last survivors, it's gonna be some horny times up there." But the point I'm trying to make when I say that is, Suichi and everyone else is alive. Because of luck, they were lucky they weren't immune. Um, they were immune. They were lucky they were immune to the virus. What's the point? It's not like you're gonna be around when I come back.
諦めるんじゃねえよお前は俺らの希望なんだからな僕がみんなの Everyone's hope, man. Ah, ah, that memory. That memory. Those dudes were so plain and boring. Why did I have to remember my friends now of all times? This is Monokuma's doing. He made us remember this. But why? Why make us remember that? That memory is no cause for despair. Th 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 that's right. There's no way we can give up. I'd promise I'd do my best for them. So, there's no way I can give up. So, we're looking for the other part of Rantaro's survival perk, right? Leave it to me. Yeah, I'll check every nook and cranny of this room. With my magic, of course. Breathing hard, Himiko ran off. What does, uh, what does all this mean? What are lies? What is the truth? Nice. Nowhere to go, Rantaro's room. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch, get as many clues as I can. I should go there next. If Kibo destroys the door like last time, I should be able to get in there. Ah! Suichi! I finally found you! Zamugi, what's wrong? Um, I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but. Kibo's attack demolished the wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. A new room. A new hope. And it's a really weird room too. Anyway, come with me. Tsumugi spoke almost encouragingly, then walked on ahead. A weird room, huh? I can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. How do I head to the sixth floor again? I forget. Yo, how do I head to the sixth floor? Wait, I think I remember. It was downstairs. It was back on the second floor? Second or third floor? This is the fourth. They knew my sense of direction would let me down. Not here. One floor down. Tamugi, answer me. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, oh man. I have to rely on my skin. 
I can't use the map, right? Nope. Aw, oh, man. I leveled up. I only have until dawn. He was a madman, I tell you. Snickerdoodles, how do I get down? Kaido's lab should be on the left, right? On the right. Three, I only have two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kaido's lab. Uh, uh oh. Not good. Sense of direction. No map. Yeah, guys, know what this means. Okay, okay, hold on. I should do that other door, right? So. That was uh, me freaking out. Key will help. <laughs> help! <laughs> I freaked out. Why did I use that gun for? Man, I wasted a lot of time traveling and getting here. Big floor, right? Oh man, I gotta go up, up all this. Okay, guys, bear with the 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 the, the spiral staircase. Must be that. Right? This room is really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. I'll try looking around. Remember, Samugi, until dawn. I went through the large hole in the room. I went through the large hole in the wall and stepped into the next room. This is... Right? This room is really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. I suppose it's possible that... Another? What is it this time? Another brain blast. Let's begin then. Hold on, I'm not mentally ready yet. Well, only... Uh, well, robots probably don't need to mentally prep themselves the way humans do. Actually, do robots even need to be put in cold sleep? I'm still a teenager, just like you all. I would feel lonely if I were the only one to stay awake. But, is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep, so I'm just plain nervous. <clears throat> hmm. It's the same for all of us.
<laughs> but you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. What a careless guy. Ha! A fucking idiot is more like it. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here, so don't start fighting with each other. Hmm. Ha! Friends, you say? That's right! We're friends from here on out. Hmm. Even though you just met us, and you don't even know what we're like? Well... Sixteen of us are going to be here together from now on. It might be hard, but let's try to take it one step at a time. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? Gonto agree. Gonto want to be friends with everyone. So, yeah. After we wake up from cold sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. So, yeah. so we better all get along. Yeah! <laughs> we're already friends. Even Atua says that we're friends. Yeah, that sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Yeah. Hey, what about you? Uh. Huh? Me? Nah, I'm just a guy wearing a hat. Ah, uh. uh, yeah, of course. I see. I'm glad. <laughs> No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end. That's what true friendship is. It'd be cool if we all could be like that. All 16 of us. Yes, I agree. As long as we leave the degenerate males out. <laughs> I think us guys should be included too. Then let's do it! It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But, let's all work together and do our best! So this man. Yes, because we're humanity's last hope! Alright, then let's all get some shut-eye. I'll see you guys later! Uh, I remember now. This room is... This was the room where we went into cold sleep. Zamugi, you remember too. This is the room where we were put into cold sleep for the Gopher Project. It's where the 16 of us first met. But back then, we all said we worked together. We promised we'd become friends. <laughs> and now, we're killing each other. Why did it have to end up like this? That is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. That real mastermind is hiding in this academy is making us do all of this, right? Yeah. Hey, Suichi, let's find them no matter what and end the killing game for good. It, uh... And then, let us finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, 
What? It's not too late. Yeah, you're right. There are some documents left on the table. A Gopher Project participants list. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Anything of particular note? All our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but that's not the important part. It's about Kaede. What? What about Kaede? She has a twin. Oh man, twin shenanigans. Uh oh. I'm not sure if that's not a good thing in the story when you write twins into it. Uh? A twin? Huh? Yeah, it seems like she has a younger twin sister. It said her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but I'm still a little worried, but because Junko and Ishima also had a twin sister. Ah, uh, true, but... On top of that, Junko used her twin sister to run the, her killing game from behind the scenes. Remember? I mean, it's probably just coincidence, but I thought I should mention it to you, Suichi. Yes. Thank you. Hmm, twins. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede has a twin. But is this that? Uh, but is that relevant? Of course, man. It doesn't really matter, does it? Hmm. It seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're gonna be okay. It seems like the building is gonna break soon. Hibo said he'd give us until dawn. But... But there's a chance that Monokuma will defeat Kibo before that, right? Either way, we should hurry. What? Are you gonna do now? There's a place we should investigate. I found it right after the killing game started, but it's been closed this whole time. Nani? You mean? Yes, the hidden room in the back of the library. Where was the library? Uh, the basement. With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Oh, you're right. I'll go with you. Okay. Please let me fast travel. I don't want to go down that those stairs. Look at that, I don't even know where to start the staircase. Kibo's gonna kill us all! It would be easier if I knew my bearings.
Damn right I shot him with the Kibo gun. It has been forever since I've been down here. See, thank, thank you. Maki! <laughs> I knew you would come here. If you're reinvestigating old areas, you'd have to come here eventually. No. But before you do, listen to what I have to say. Mm. Is this about the blueprints? Have you looked through all of them? Mm. Yeah, I have. Also, I cleaned this room. I could not deal with that mess. Anyway, but something caught my eye that worried me. Though, I'm not sure how significant it is. Alright, Maki. We don't have time. Hey, Maki. What was in all those blueprints you were looking through? I found a design that worried me a little. It was drawn with too much detail. It looks like a vacuum. What a peculiar shape. It's a machine that sucks up bugs called the bug vac. A bug vac? Don't, don't, no, no, man. Good thing going to is not here to hear that. Tokichi came up with the design, but I thought there weren't any bugs outside of Gunsa's lab. Now that you mention it, Oh, that cause of tiny bugs. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Yeah, guns would think that before, but... When out walking in courtyard, guns would think he see tiny bug. But bugs so tiny, even guns would know could see it. And Gunter had 20 0 0.625 eyesight. Or maybe Gunter just make mistake. What Gunter think? No, maybe Gunter just see things. Gunter was always seeing small bugs. But Gunter said he was just seeing things. Maybe Kokichi asked Mew to invent that to see for himself. So Mew actually made this? After I found this uh, after I found this design, I went to Mew's research lab. And I found a prototype that she was still working on. This is it. It may be a prototype, but it seems to be functional already. The suction, yeah, this is a fun word to say. The suction function is already finished. As she said that, Maki flipped the switch on the machine and... It has pretty strong suction. With this, you can vacuum up all the bugs around you at once. What was that, Maki? I said, with this, you can vacuum up all the bugs around you at once. Hmm, nothing in it. What? I said, nothing in it. Come again? 
Yeah, it looks like it was used several times, but it doesn't seem like they caught any. Again? Say that again? Ah. Maybe we should turn this off. Maki sighed and turned off the bug catcher. Then does that mean there are no bugs? It was just Gunta's imagination after all. That's probably the case. Well, even if there were bugs, I don't know how that would be a clue. But I wanted to tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Right, thank you. Were those bugs really just Gunsa's imagination? There must be more to it than that. You guys were here! Ah. Yeah, if we were all gonna meet up, why didn't anyone tell me? Uh. I couldn't find anyone, so I was starting to get worried. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. No. And? Were you here? And where were you up till now? You went to Rentaro's room, right? Did you find anything interesting? Well... What is this expression? Oh, come on, spill the beans. Hey, Himiko, did you find anything in Rentaro's room? I'm not gonna tell you! Stop asking me! Shut up! Leave me alone! Huh? Why? Um... If I say I didn't find anything, you're gonna decide I'm useless, aren't you? I won't let that happen. So, I guess she didn't find anything. Don't worry, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. <laughs> uh, that's just as bad! Oh, Himiko has the one thing we need. If it isn't in Mantaro's room, then where is his survival perk? We didn't find anything on his body. Did he hide it somewhere before he died? But hiding it in your room would be the safest place for it. Did someone take it? Suichi, what's wrong? Hey, we were going to check what's behind that hidden door, right? Let's hurry and do it until dawn, remember? Yeah, you're right. The hidden door is where Hen the hidden door is where Rantaro was investigating just before he died. There might be something in there that would be a valuable clue. First, I should inspect the hidden door. A hidden door is revealed when the bookcase swings open. This door has been locked the, this entire time. With Kibo's help, we might be able to open it. The door, the door that can only be opened with a card key. There must be something here. Maybe the mastermind is hiding behind this hidden door. So then. then, if we kill them, we can end this killing game. No, I told you, we can't kill them. If you do that, we'd be the same. Tsumugi <coughs> <coughs> in distress! Huh? Which one? Shamala <laughs> 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 
だからお父ちゃんが怒る前に「おいらがやっつけてやるぞ!」まずいみんな逃げてIt's Kibo. Man, he's so cool. Like, he's amazing. Ha, I wanna have his autograph. Kibo, will you go to the prom with me? Hmm, Kibo. I might have to consider having you join me kill someone. Just stay put for now. Kibo, you saved us! As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy! So you need me to open that door, right? Yes, please! Are you ignoring me? Well, I guess there's nothing I can do, since I need to charge my. Please stand back! It's dangerous to be too close! Man, he's so cool. After that terse comment, Kibo aimed his rocket launcher at the door. I only wish I was half as cool as him. Hidden door is completely destroyed. Hi. The door is open. We can finally enter. Ah. The, the, the mastermind's hiding in there. No doubt about it. And if he's in there, he ain't happy. Yeah, Or she, I don't know. But is it okay to just go in there? What if we get attacked or something? Then, we'll just have to strike back. Boca. I would join you, but I need to hold off the existers here. Deva. Zoichi, it's all up to you. Please cast the mastermind no matter what. Until dawn, remember. <clears throat> okay, I got it. The mastermind is in here? It's not like we have a time limit to find them. A specific time limit, you know, when the sun comes up around 5.45 to 6.30 in the morning? Nah, we don't have that kind of time limit. That certainly is possible. We should be careful. Alright, let's go. I'll go in first. I'm the only one who can fight if anything happens. Oh, yeah! Please! Do all the fighting for us. Led by Maki, we walk through the hidden door. This is the hidden room. It's much bigger than I expected. This room's atmosphere. No class whatsoever. Doesn't it remind you of the remnants of despair that admire Junko and Oshima? The mastermind behind this killing game must be hiding in here. Yeah. Where? Where's their mastermind hiding? Here. Huh? Where did that sound come from? Was that Monokuma's voice just now? 
Welcome to the final stage. Guess it's time for the final boss to make their debut. Nanja. Uh, where? Where? Where's that voice coming from? Hmm. Pull back the curtain. Mm. There's something draped in fabric. It looks suspicious. I cautiously lifted up the fabric and... A Monokuma head! The core! Who, who, who? You found me. Or rather, you just found a place that you were meant to find. At any rate, you can't end the killing game. The killing game was born from the womb of despair. Starting with the killing game at Hope's Peak Academy, created by the ultimate despair. They're all connected. The killing game is despair itself. What? What is this? Are you Monokuma? I'm Monokuma. You're Monokuma. We're all Monokuma. Of course. I'm not just any Monokuma. I'm the overseer of the killing game and the source of all Monokumas. So I've been given a special name, Mother Kuma. Mother Kuma. Ah, cliche sci fi name. So then, the machine that makes spare Monokumas in this academy. Oh, that's me. You see this amazing machine behind me? It creates spare Monokumas. All I gotta do is copy over my thoughts and presto. Wow, that was a great guest. Oh man. Presto, I give birth to myself. Huh? A spare Monokuma? Can they be made that easily? I thought they were advanced robots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am advanced. Uh, yeah. That's why I am so amazing. No, that might be a lie. It's trying to trick us with fake information. Anyone can see this thing is giving too much information far too conveniently. Huh? But it's not a lie. I can make spares really easily. <sighs> Could you do that right now? Remember, until dawn. Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. Beep, boo boo bop. Huh? What's wrong? I can't. Uh, I can't give birth a Monokuma for someone who doesn't love me. I can't birth a Monokuma for someone who doesn't love me. What about after it's born, huh? Did you think about that? Take some responsibility. Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma. No, I won't do it. I'm not gonna birth one for someone I don't like just because they tell me to. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Are you listening? We said to give birth to a new Monokuma. It's totally ignoring us. I wonder if the thing about the spares was a lie after all. A lie, huh? But why lie about that? There has to be some motivation to lie. Hey, enough with this Monokuma. Let's hurry and search this room. 
You're right. The mastermind is hiding in here somewhere. So Ichi, don't just stand around. Look for the mastermind. Yeah. That's right. First, we have to see if the mastermind is hiding here. There should be other clues here as well. A monopad, and there's blood on it. Whose monopad is this? And why is there a blood stain on it? I don't know, but we should inspect it closely. If this is a student handbook, the name of the owner should show up when it turns on. I started up the monopad and... This monopad is the survivor perk. That means, in addition to the video, Rantaro's survivor perk was this other monopad. Is this a map of the Ultimate Academy? Well, Alpha could use one of those right now. The place that opened with the mysterious objects are labeled too. As well as the hidden room. Which means, this is a complete map for the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. So, Rantaro was given this map as part of his survival perk. That's why he knew about the hidden door. Hmm, what's this? It looks like a message. A clue to end the killing game. It must be edited on there. The mastermind who is behind this uh, The mastermind who is behind the killing game is hiding somewhere within the academy. Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs a spare. At that time, the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove this hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you will remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people you know you can trust. How you determine that will mean your life or death, Rantaro Amami. A hint to yourself hit to yourself from yourself. That was part of the survival perk. That's why Rantaro brought it up. Because he read this hint. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Even he didn't completely believe it, but he had no choice. That's why he went to the library. That's what started all of this. That monopad isn't the student handbook. It looks like something else. But is that a blood stain? Whose blood is this? I was gonna check that. If I can determine whose blood this is, we'll be that much closer to the truth. How are you going to check? The camera Kaede and I set up here. We can deduce it from the pictures. 
That picture is in Kokichi's room. That punk gathered evidence from the past cases just so he could. I bet he collected that picture too. So, which one do you need? There were several pictures, right? The last picture taken of Rantaro, the one in which he was trying to remove the camera. The one where the camera lured him with the fl- uh, The one where the camera lured him with the flash? Mm. Got it, I'll go retrieve it. So I'll let you handle this area. Mm. Maki, be careful, okay? Kibo and the Zistrus are fighting. Mm. Hey, who do you think I am? Do you want to die? <laughs> I finally reached the point where I can tell that that was a joke. Until dawn. Birth one? And now it's the other ones that are yours before you make me birth another one. Hmm. I wonder if it's uh, I wonder if what it said about spares was really true. This is a trash can. Yes it is. I should investigate this too. I'm positive there's some clues here. I open the trash can casually and... Ah! I let out a surprise gasp. What is this? This thing in the trash can is much heavier than I thought. A shot put ball. Why is this here? But there's no blood on this shot. It can't be the one that Kaida used to kill Rantaro. In that case, where did this come from? Why is this here? Ah, this is. I noticed something sticking to the shot putt ball. Some cloth fibers from something. Inspecting it closely, I can see several pink fibers stuck to the surface of the shot. They're pink. Wait, that means this shot. My heart! I understand. I know how to pin down the mastermind of this killing game. This is going to be the one that does it? Hmm. We were finally able to get in thanks to Kibo destroying the hidden door. The only on the way in was the car key. Of course, none of us have that, so we couldn't get in before. But it doesn't look like there's a card reader on the inside of the hidden door. I looked through the rubble thoroughly, but didn't find anything like that. Which means, you don't need a card key to leave this room. In that case... Placing dust on that card reader wouldn't have mattered if they came out from this side. That should be everything. Until dawn! And there's probably no doubt that the mastermind came here. There should definitely be a clue. Let's check thoroughly. No! Kibo's time limit! Damn, I used too much time. It's already dawn! No, Kibo, don't do it!
You took too long. Be careful. You don't time. Yeah, you don't have time to investigate everything. Only investigate what you need to. Uh, what happened? Okay, Alpha Troop. I think it's a good point to reset our brains on this and uh, get a better thought on what we have to research again. I guess we have to look at all the clues starting from this room. It's a good thing they didn't wasn't too cruel to us and made us start all the way from the beginning. Because, to be honest, I would have done all of that and led you back up to this point off camera. I was not going to redo everything. With that being said, I want to say we will redo this thing just to like kind of refresh my memory and I am going to take another break so it'll be a good way to see how this runs down again just so I can like oh okay okay so with that being said take care get ready for the next episode get excited because we will reveal a lot of things again so it might come back and we give you a fresh idea of what's going on until next time Take care, and I'll see you later. We get it poppin' cause we fresh to death. Half a meal on this grill and I'm all in, yes. Let the skills pay the bills. I'm out for mini skirts, big checks, and cheap thrills. Fresh to death. We get it poppin' cause we fresh to death. Half a meal on this grill and I'm all in, yes. Let the skills pay the bills. I'm out for mini skirts, big checks.